On the left side, we have two data sets uh, representing class scores of 20 students that are male and 20 students that are female. And what we want to do is we want to analyze these two data sets to see uh, the similarities or the differences. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our descriptive table. And we're going to calculate the minimum, the maximum, the average, the median, median, the variance, the standard deviation, and the quartiles. So in order to do that, we're, for the minimum and maximum, we're going to use the min and max function. And when we do that, we get the minimum for males is 74, and the minimum for females is 82. The max for males is 100, and the max for female is 97. Now we'll calculate the mean and the median in a similar vein, using the average and median functions. And we end up with a mean of 87.15 and 91.1 for male and female, respectively. We'll also calculate the variance in the standard deviation using the var.s and stdev.s function. And we get 48.45 and 24.72, as well as 6.96 and 4.97 for the standard deviation. Now what this tells you is, if you look at the variance uh, and the standard deviation, you can see that the female scores are not uh, quite as spread out as the male scores. So there isn't as much variance. Uh, and the standard deviation, so 68% of the data will lie between 91.1, uh, which is the median, which is the mean, uh, minus 4.97 and plus 4.97 uh, for 68% of the data, one standard deviation away from the mean. So we could see that, again, the dispersion for the female uh, scores is a lot narrower as opposed to the male scores. Now what we'll do is we'll calculate the quartiles using the quartile function. Uh, calculating the first, second, third, and fourth quartile. And we could see that the quartiles are 84.589 for uh, the first quartile for male and female respectively, and again 87 and 92 for the second quartile, 90.25 and 94.25 for the third quartile. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to, in order to do a box plot, we're going to have to calculate the quartile differences. So let's do that first. First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the uh, minimum. And we get that from the uh, row 23 over here. Now we'll take our differences between the minimum and the first quartile. So, so you see our formula is basically going to be B29, which is the first quartile, and we're going to subtract from that B23, which is the mean, and we get 10.5. And we'll copy this process the whole way, where we subtract each quartile from the previous quartile so that we can get our ranges. This will be the data that we will use for the box plot. Now, there are six steps that we need for the box plot. The first two we've already done. We've basically calculated our quartiles, and we've calculated the differences. And that's what we have down here. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a stacked column format based on the quartile differences. So what we'll do is we'll take our male and female attributes here, and we will go to Insert we're going to go to a chart and we're going to do a stacked uh, column chart. This is our stacked column. Now, the problem we have is, is that we need to switch the row and the column. When we do that, we'll actually get this data set that looks like this, where one would be the male and two would be the female. So this is step four. Now, now all we have to do is we'll need to modify the chart a little bit so that we can get uh, the various pieces of the box plot. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the bottom fill. So we left mouse click here on the bottom fill, and then we'll, we right mouse click format data series, we click our fill option, and we'll do no fill. And what this will do is this will move the chart up towards the top, which is what we want. Now what we need to do is we need to place error bars using the chart element. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our uh, element here. We're going to come to the top left and we're going to do add chart element. We're then going to click on error bars and we're going to click on standard deviation. Now when we click on standard deviation, we're going to get that for each one of these uh, points. So we're going to click on each individual one and add the standard deviation error bar. Now when we do that, and we have all the error bars, we now need to format the error bars. So when we click on a particular error bar and we come over to the right, 
we'll have a couple of options. We're going to click the bar up here to the right side, and we're basically going to use just the minus with no count. And what this will do is when we do this for each one of them, you will see that we end up with a straight line. Now the key for our error plots is this. We need to take our error bars and we need to do percentage. And we're going to want to change this percentage to 100%. This will extend the line, but we'll have to do this for each one of them. Now, as you can see, now we have our straight line across. All we'll need to do is now we'll need to remove the fill for the top and the bottom quartile. And there you have your box plot chart.